Here's a swing and a high fly ball going deep to left. This may do it. Back to the wall goes down. It is home run. Home run. The Pirates win. It's the 1960 World Champions defeat the New York Yankees. The Pirates 10 and the Yankees 9. Gregor comes to him and it's a high fly ball in the deep right center field. Back to single and away back to the wall. It's gone. He's got it. Pops it. Hit it out. And the Pirates lead two to one. Stretch by Dave Weathers. Kendall bounces this one up the middle. Shortstop. Nice pick. Hernandez throws on the first and just does get Kendall. He doesn't agree with that call. And Tommy Sant gets between him and the first base umpire. And out comes Lloyd McClendon again. Jose Hernandez moving far to his left. Behind second. And now Lloyd McClendon has been tossed. And McClendon turns and fires his baseball cap. Well, oh, the first base umpire has McClendon steamed. He turned and whipped his cap towards second base. It's still sitting on the grass. And now McClendon walks back. He's going to pick up first base a la Lou Pinella. And he's walking away with the first base bag. But this time he doesn't turn and throw it, at least not yet. McClendon walking with the first base bag underneath his left arm. He just now has crossed the third baseline, and I guess he's just going to walk off with it. To the delight of this crowd, McClendon marches down the dugout steps with first base and now whips it toward the runway. And he'll hand the lineup card to Bill Verdon. We can't continue this game without a first base bag, and now a member of the grounds crew will take another bag and jog toward first base and put it back in there. First base umpire, Rick Reed, arms crossed, watching the whole proceedings, about 15 feet from behind first. Quite a display from Lloyd McClendon. He is ejected after a close play at first base. Really tries to save it for Melanson. The 2-2 pitch. And a fly ball to right center field. That's going to drop for a hit. And Bobble, McCutcheon's throw. The runner breaks for the plate. Here's the throw. Wow. It is out. The Buckos win it. Raise the Jolly Roger. They waved home Sheerholtz. He's thrown out at the plate. The Buckos win their 90th. What a finish. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How about that finish? Incredible. Bell waves home the runner. He is tagged out. The Pirates raise the Jolly Roger for the 90th time in an absolutely incredible finish. Grilly gets the save. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and now they'll be heading to the clubhouse to watch what happens and see if they clinch a playoff berth because their magic number has been reduced to one. Well, they're standing room only crowd trying to get under Johnny Cueto's skin, and they might be. Well, the left center field back toward the track, and that ball is gone. Russell Martin, two nothing Pittsburgh. Sometimes, but this is ridiculous, Cap. 
Nice little leg kick, nice little extension. Almost looks like Bird's home run, but hit to left center field. He got a good chunk of that one. No chance. I haven't heard a chant like this, Ernie, since Darrell in Fenway Park <laughs> in the 80s. The pitch. High fly ball to center field. It's hit pretty well toward the wall. Go! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Andrew McCutcheon oh, has won it. They're going crazy. The Pirates have won this game. And an incredible game. You can raise the Jolly Roger and call it maybe the best all time in Pittsburgh. What a game. They've won it on McCutcheon's home run. They're mobbing at home plate. Can you believe it? Save your ticket. You just saw as good as it can get in the big leagues. Can you believe this game? Your Pittsburgh Pirates. Your Pittsburgh Pirates. McCutcheon defiantly looking toward the camera and pointing toward the sky. Unbelievable. There's one more to be played. It's tomorrow night. Go to Pirates.com. Be here tomorrow. They don't want to leave. And congratulations to each and every one of you for hung around for this thing when it looked like the Pirates were down and out five times. It's incredible. Get the shillelagh out. This the, is the it. Jolly Roger shillelagh. The Pirates have won it. Incredible, incredible, incredible. For the second night in a row, the Pirates overcome a deficit in extra innings and stun the Cardinals. This is storybook kind of stuff for the Pirates the last 24 hours. This is what teams that are going to play in October. These are the games. These are the weeks. You got four days to cook on this in a good way for the Pirates. And, and you're not out of a game the rest of the year. That's the big one. From, they're not out. And a young hitter, Gregory Polanco, and a four straight balls to Travis Ishikawa to get to Gregory Polanco. And he doesn't waste any time. First pitch. Yeah, he got jammed a little bit. But he's big enough, he's strong enough. He got enough of the barrel on it to get that ball over the head. That of was Cole where Wong and bright, but right in front of Jason Hayward had no chance. And if him. you saw Molina, that's the pitch they were trying to throw. They were trying to go fastball in right there. He throws it and he beats him. They just got five hits in two thirds of an inning of Trevor Rosenthal, yeah. one of the hardest pitchers to get a hit off of in baseball.